Third reading of Senate measures, the clerk will read the bill. Senate Concurrent Resolution 7, honoring Charles Jordan for visionary leadership and contributions. I uh, recognize Senator Shields. Thank you, Madam President. Colleagues, occasionally this body bestows its highest honor, its highest honor on giants. Giants who stand head and shoulders above the rest. Giants who lead us to a better tomorrow. And giants who are not only giants in spirit, but are giants to their community. Today we honor one of those giants, a giant who's still with us today. And he is a giant in that he is six foot seven inches tall, Mr. Charles Jordan, who is on the side aisle. But he's a giant not only in stature, a giant in spirit, a giant in community. Senate Concurrent Resolution 7 honors Charles Jordan for his visionary leadership and contributions to the city of Portland, to the state of Oregon, and indeed to our great nation. I am honored to have him and his family on the side aisle today, uh, that family that includes his wife, Esther, his daughter, Trish, and son, Dion. In 1974, Mr. Jordan became the first African American to serve as a Portland City Commissioner. He worked as the Police Commissioner, Parks Commissioner, and for 14 years as the Director of Portland Parks and Recreation, where he gained a national reputation for broadening the environmental movement to include minorities and lower income people. Charles Jordan's passion for equality, fairness, and positive change was fueled by his childhood experiences of living in a segregated community in rural Texas. He served as an officer in the United States Army, then received his bachelor degree in education, sociology, and philosophy from Gonzaga University, and in 2001 was awarded an honorary Doctor of Law degree by the University of Vermont. At six foot seven, Mr. Jordan had the opportunity to play in the NBA, not once, but twice. And in his testimony in, in the, the Rules Committee, Representative Frederick told a story about how he invited Mr. Jordan to come speak to a group of fifth, grade, of fifth graders at his house. So imagine Mr. Jordan at six foot seven inches tall coming into this room full of fifth graders, sitting down cross-legged with the, with the children uh, circled around him, and telling these fifth graders that he decided to take a pass on the NBA, not once, but twice. And he turned them down twice because he wanted to dedicate his life to public service, to improving the lives of people in his community, and building safer, more environmentally sustainable communities. He did just that during his career. And more than that, he shared his vision with us and with so many young people throughout his work. Last year, I had the privilege of attending uh, a dedication in his honor. The city of Portland named a community center in our district in North Portland after Charles Jordan to celebrate legacy, which can be seen in every part of the Portland Gold Medals Park System, and especially in the programs that serve children and families. Mr. Madam President, Charles Jordan is an Oregon giant, a giant of heart, a giant of spirit, a giant for Oregon. And I would sincerely request that you join with me in voting aye to bestow our highest honor on this great man. Thank you, Madam President. Discussion, recognize Senator Winters. Thank you, Madam uh, President, to um, the Senator. It's gonna be hard for me because I know Charles Jordan. 
you couldn't have grown up in Portland and served and worked in model cities uh, without knowing uh, Charles. And I had the honor to know him not only as a community leader, but also as a friend and a person who had dedicated his life to the service of others. Uh, a person who dedicated his life to the service of his uh, community, which um, also included uh, children, families, and the park system. My fond memory of, of Charles Jordan was when I and a couple of other individuals decided that we wanted to bring Bones and Brew to Portland. Uh, and uh, of course, we needed a, a park location. And our first location was Holiday Park. And uh, we thought we became big enough to graduate to the McCall waterfront. And it was with the assistance of uh, Charles Jordan that we were able to bring Bones and Brew to the waterfront of Portland. And the, uh, the Bones and Brew benefited uh, Oregon Food Bank and also Albertina Kerr. And I you know, would just stand in both honor and that I'm able to cast my, my vote for an individual who has done so much for not only Portland and the Portland community, but for the state of Oregon. And I encourage you to cast your eye vote. Recognize Senator Rosenbaum. Thank you, Madam President. Colleagues, it is my great honor to rise in support of Senate Concurrent Resolution 7. And it really is, I think, an honor for this body to have Commissioner Charles Jordan and his family with us today. As you heard earlier, um, for more than four decades, he has given his time, his visionary talent, and his boundless energy to make the city of Portland and our entire state better for everyone in our state. And the, not only the 10 years that he served on the Portland City Council, taking on tough challenges and great responsibilities, ranging from senior and youth programs, job training, police oversight, educational research, to the development of our world-renowned park system. Uh, one of the quotes that has come up repeatedly is that Commissioner Jordan has been known as a person who really broke the mold in Portland, and I think we all have benefited from his great work. So as you have heard from others, and I'm sure will continue to hear, his honors and distinctions are really the stuff of legend. So I just wanted to close by thanking Commissioner Jordan and his family for being with us today. And I think it can't really be said much better than some of the closing lines in our resolution that say Charles Jordan is an innovator, conservationist, and charismatic leader who has dedicated his life to service and community building. I think our world, our state, our community are much brighter because he has been part of it, and I feel very, very fortunate to be able to be part of honoring him today. So thank you for being here, and thank you for giving us the opportunity to talk about your life and your work. Further discussion? If not, Senator Shields, do you wish to close? He does not. The question now arises upon the third reading and final adoption of SCR 7. Those who are of the opinion the bill should be passed, uh, adopted will answer aye as their names are called. Those opposed, no. The clerk will call the roll. Steiner Hayward? Aye. Thompson? Aye. Witsit? Aye. Winters? Aye. Baird Sugar? Aye. Bates? Aye. Beyer? Aye. Boquist? Burdick? Aye. Close? Devlin, Dingfelder, Edwards, Ferrioli, George, Gerard, Hansel, Haas, Johnson, Knoop, Cruz, Montes Anderson, Monroe, Olson, Brzezanski, Roblin, Rosenbaum, Shields, Starr, President Courtney, excused, Boquist, 29 I votes. Senate concur Boquist, concurrent resolution. 30 aye votes. Senate concurrent resolution 7, having received a constitutional majority, is declared adopted.